Hi Aquarius, welcome to your singles reading for November. Who's coming towards you? This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. You're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, how to reach out for personal readings, decks I'm using, social media links, all kind of stuff down there. So please do go check that out. Be greatly appreciated. And thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much for trusting me with your energy and giving readings for you. And um, those who have blessed me with the energy exchange, as in a tip or donation to the channel, is very, very much appreciated. And to everyone in helping the channels grow and getting uh, the messages out to the people that need to hear them and being a part of that. So thank you so much for everything. Thank you, thank you. I couldn't do it without you guys, and I truly love to do this. So thank you again so much. Okay, so this is for Aquarius Singles, who's coming towards you. So hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall. Happy, Hall happy Halloween. You know what? <laughs> Today is October 27th, and I'm recording this for November. So Halloween hasn't come yet. So <laughs> happy fall and happy November, Aquarius. All right, so let's see what we get here. Um... Keep in mind, too, I can also pick on past energies. So if you say, gee, this is a situation that already happened with me, then please keep in that mind. Keep that in mind also. All right. So Aquarius. Aquarius. May not resonate with everybody, so keep that in mind. Aquarius singles. Who's coming towards you can be now till you, the time you see this, till whenever. I do consider it timeless. I just put the dates so people know which order. Uh, they were listed, so let's see. Let's get a couple signs for you, Aquarius, of who may be coming towards you. Wow, Aquarius singles, that's too many, but we'll take this one. Let's get one more, one more. Hey, that one wanted to jump. One more, one more. Okay, this one fell first. I'm going to take that one. Let's see what we have. We have Taurus and Scorpio. So some of you may have Taurus coming towards you. Earth sign or Scorpio, a water sign. Earth and water or somebody who has even maybe even both of these signs heavily in their chart. So we have earth and water. Okay. You are an air sign. All right. So let's look into Aquarius. Who is this person? What is their energy like? What is their energy like? Who is this person? What kind of person are they, Spirit, please? This person that may be coming towards Aquarius. Who are they? What is their energy? What are they like? Who are they, Spirit, please? One more shuffle. All right, I want a good shuffle. One more good shuffle, please. Thank you. All right, so who is this person coming towards Aquarius? What are they like? What is their personality like? Who are they? So we have rejoice and celebration. So this may be a partier <laughs> or somebody who likes to drink. I'm just going to put that out there. This is you know, cup energy. So I think this is somebody who's going to be a very joyous kind of person. They may be very outgoing, bubbly kind of energy. They may like to go out a lot and party and dance and be around people. Very. This is a very social um, energy. Very, very social so they like to be out and about. They like to be on the go. They like to be around people. They like maybe not party, but just be a very, very friendly, outgoing, social kind of person. I th think they would talk to anybody next to them. Uh, just very, very outgoing, social person. They may be very happy and bubbly also, very loving, caring kind of energy too. I mean, they may like to go out and party a little bit, have fun, go out dancing and drinking and partying kind of energy too. Just having a good time. They like to have a good time and be happy. All right. Just be careful. They're not, you know, like a heavy drinker or anything like that. All right. So let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. When? Like what time frame, like time of year type of energy when you may meet this person. Take that one. All 
right, so we have, this is sword energy, so winter, so it could be in a winter month, um, and we're coming up into winter, so December into March, between December and March, could be the fourth week into the winter season, which would be in January, or it could be, you know, a date with a four in it, okay, so winter, just say winter time. They may go out and party a lot and then sleep in the next day. <laughs> I'm just saying rest and rejuvenate. They may go out and like to be social, have a good time, and then they got to rest up the next day. <laughs> I don't know, but I do see winter time. Okay, so where? What kind of setting? What kind of setting? What kind of setting? Maybe you meet this person. Wow. Okay. I've got too many here. Too many. I just want one. Where may you meet this person? Aquarius. So we got... This is an angel. This is... Um, that is swords. Is this the same? These cards are so close in color. It's hard to tell if they're the same. I think they are the same. I don't know. It's hard to tell here. So let me just double check here. Uh, yeah. Okay. So maybe in an outdoor setting, because you see some sky there. Um, these are wings. So maybe, uh, and you see this person is outside here too. So it may be some sort of outside setting. Maybe around Christmas time. And I think I had got this in a reading before too. So maybe, maybe around Christmas time, maybe you're out looking at lights. Maybe you're doing some kind of, you know, um, holiday activities. And uh, that's how you run into this person. Maybe at a Christmas party or something like that. Okay, so so maybe you're at a and they come as a guest. Um, maybe they come as a guest of somebody else, and that's how you meet them. I mean, it could be outside because you just have some clouds there. So you know, maybe you go, you go outside to get a breather, to get some fresh air, and you run into them. Maybe they're outside too. You no, know, maybe they've been dancing a lot, <laughs> and they go out to cool off to get some air, and maybe you do too. And that's how you run into them. All right. So I don't know. Let's see. So this section here is supposed to be how though. So let's see what we get. Hmm. So this is a solar plexus chakra. So you see the yellow energy is almost like the sun energy. So, I mean, it could be a Christmas party and maybe it's during the day for some reason and you go outside, you know, in the sun or something. And uh, so I'm getting like sun sun energy so maybe maybe it's an afternoon christmas party i don't know usually they're at night but um or it could be moon energy but we've got sun and clouds here so i feel like it's a for some reason or during the day could be a christmas party at work and you can bring guests and it's during the day or something and that's how you meet them you go outside for like i said a breath of fresh air and they're out there and you strike up a conversation with this person hmm it's interesting all right, so, okay, so now we got what kind of person they are, what time of year, winter. Um, I'm getting outside. Uh, and it could be like, um, you know, you're outside getting a breath of fresh air, maybe at a Christmas party or some sort of function, holiday function. I just got like, a, maybe you're at a holiday bazaar or something like that, because you do see an angel here. And so maybe, you know, could be like at a holiday bazaar and maybe, you know, you go step outside or you're going to go in, coming out or something. And maybe it's a sunny, brisk day, winter time, and you like bump into this person or something like that. All right. So what kind of connection will this be? What kind of connection will this be? What kind of connection will this be? 
for you if you connect with this person. What kind of connection will this be for Aquarius? Explore your options. It's time to take, it's time to look at other possibilities. It's a good time to make changes. So, hmm. So may, you may, you know, want to just maybe date this person and keep options open because they may be a heavy partier here because you got rest and rejuvenate after partying. Then you got heartache and loss here. So they may be, I don't know, they could even be a player or just someone who likes to party. Uh, you don't want to end up with a broken heart, but you do have the solar plexus chakra here. So this is knowing like your value, your worth, who you are. Um, kind of energy so you may want to um, maybe just date this person get to know them kind of energy also all right so let's look at your advice let's look at because you got two threes you got three three and three there you got three threes that's a heavy message that you don't want to get stuck in a third party situation also so all right or and they may not even be married but maybe they just have a lot of um partners kind of energy okay but they may let like your soul on fire here with the solar plexus chakra you may feel like an attraction or a connection to them but uh i would say just maybe date them get to know them and keep your options open is what I'm getting. All right, so let's get your advice in this. Let's get what is the advice for Aquarius with this possible who's coming towards you person for the singles honoring your true feelings. So yeah, if you feel like honor your true feelings, so trust your gut, your intuition, how you truly feel. If you feel like this person may be a player or they have many people, many partners, or something like that. Uh, this is saying to pay attention to that, honor that. Maybe just date them. Keep your options open, because we got three, three times here. So that's a heavy indication to me of third party. So again, I, I'm, I mean, they may not be married, but they may just have a lot of um, partners. You know, they may play the field. I don't know. I mean, this connection may be there, maybe a strong physical connection or just some, some sort of connection there. But um, I would be a little bit wary. And they may like to explore their options. <laughs> and that's why you have explore your options here also. So they may also keep their options open. Or they may even ask you, maybe... Uh, they may ask you, do you mind being in an open relationship? You know, maybe they're very open to that. And this is saying, honor your true feelings. If whatever this connection is doesn't jive with you, then trust that and uh, do what's best for you. You may really like this person. Uh, they may, you know, may be fun and bubbly, you know, great personality, but it doesn't mean anything. All right, so... What do we have here? The high priestess in reverse. So, yeah. So, this is not listening to your gut and your intuition and your higher knowing. And don't keep anything to yourself either. Usually the high priestess does, doesn't does um, keep any secrets. Oh, she does keep secrets. But this is uh, not holding back, you know. Not holding back either. Don't keep any secrets. Make sure they're not keeping any secrets from you. But this is also in reverse. You're not really listening to your gut and your intuition and your higher knowing. And you need to do that. You need to really pay attention and honor how you truly feel with this connection that may be coming towards you. All right, what else do we have for Aquarius? Make sure. So I make sure my cards aren't reverse. What else? Oh, it's way too many. What else? Justice, yeah. So this is uh, justice here. So make sure things are equal and balanced. There's truth and clarity in the situation. Make sure that, you know, this is a fair 
connection. The King of Swords, yeah, truth, clarity. That's your energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, King or Queen, it doesn't matter. No, not taking any BS, you know, knowing truth, clarity, clear-cut communication, cutting things out. So you may decide just to cut this person out. <laughs> you know, you may say, justice here, yep, yeah, nope. And you may decide to just cut them out. All right. Or you may just be very upfront and honest with them. And say, you know, I only want something that's fair and balanced. And if you can't give me that, then, you know, you're not going to hold anything back here with the high priestess in reverse. You know, that's the energy of not keeping secrets. So make sure they're not keeping secrets from you. The star. So here's your energy. Wow. Aquarius. So you may feel like, um, you know, this is about healing. This is divinely guided energy. Hope, faith, optimism. So just, you know, remain hopeful that there may be something else out there for you. You know, and don't get stuck in a situation where you're going to have to heal from heartache and loss either. You know, you're going to have to see it with truth and clarity here in this situation. <sighs> you know, and there is something divinely guided out there for you. It may or may not be this person coming into you. Six of Swords, so you may decide to just you know, leave them, this is your energy again, and go off on your own in a better direction here. Uh, this is about, you know, going in a much better place, a uh, very healing, balanced place. So you see, like, that's a blockade. So you may block this person and may decide to um, avoid getting your heart broken and just go off on your own. All right. So what else? What else? the tower yeah shake up break down tower moment here surprises good or bad something breaking down something explosive tower moment here they may hit you with the surprise like hey you know i only do open relationships and you might be like what well that doesn't jive with me sorry <laughs> wow you may get hit with something from them and be like what <laughs> what no nope. no nope. not for me sorry Queen of Swords, wow, King and Queen of Swords are coming out as. So, yeah, so you're going to be high, have to be high up in your energy here. The King and Queen of Swords. That does represent, usually when you get a matching couple, um, it does usually represent soulmate connection here. So, I mean, if this is a very, very strong connection, you're going to have to be open and honest with them. And say, look, you know, and give them this tower moment and say, look, I don't, not into what you're doing here. It's either, you know, you do what's fair, balanced, and right, and it's just us, or it's the end. So you may have to be in that energy. But I do see divinely guided energy here with the star and a matching couple with the king and queen of swords. So this has the potential to be a very high level soulmate energy. Or this is you just needing to be heavily in your energy and knowing, um, what's right and what's not right and standing up for yourself all right so what else do we have about this uh incoming person for aquarius there is way too many so let's see if we can get one more i do ask aquarius if you do like my energy you like how i read please do like share subscribe and uh, hit the bell you'll be notified when i post new readings i love to read the comments also and if you do subscribe, you'll get four readings a month. You'll get a singles who's coming towards you, a love connection energy reading for uh, someone you have a connection with. You'll get a general collective reading, a tarot forecast, and you'll also get um, messages from your spirit guides, what you need to know at this time. So if you're interested in all that, please do subscribe, hit the bell, and you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you, thank you. Four swords energy here. So yeah, you're going to have to think and contemplate Maybe even retreat, go off on your own energy here and decide whether or not um, you want this. This is healing energy also. So I don't think you want to get in an energy where you may have to heal because you're healing here, healing here, tower moment here. I mean, you may end up getting fully involved with this person and then realize what kind of person they are. And it's going to hit you like a tower moment and then you're going to have to heal from this 
energy. So with the high priestess here, really, uh, really, really pay attention because this is in reverse. So you're going to really have to pay attention to this energy. All right, let's see what's on the bottom. Seven of swords. So yeah, this is sneaky, deceitful energy. This person may be a player. So you're going to have to be careful with this person. Judgment and making a judgment call here. And this is a Scorpio energy here coming in. So yeah, making a judgment call with this death. Yeah, so you may decide just to end it here. Scorpio, you got two Scorpio back to back. So you may make a judgment call here just to end this connection because they're just sneaky, sneaky. They have many partners, I feel. Chariot energy here. You may just decide to up and move away, from, run far away from this person and just move away from them, travel far away from them, I feel. Yeah, leave them out in the cold. That's the Taurus energy. Earth energy, leaving them out in the cold. Yep. Moving far from them. Ending this. Making that judgment call because of their sneaky, deceitful behavior. Yeah. Oh boy, Aquarius. I'm sorry it wasn't a more positive reading, but this is what I have. So really pay attention to this person. As bubbly, ha as bubbly happy, cheerful... As they may be, and you may really like their energy, they may even be a partier, they could have a drinking problem, they could, you know, have multiple partners and they may not tell you that. Then you may find out and realize they have many partners. We got three, three, three times three is nine. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, be careful of this energy coming in towards you. Again, I feel like winter, I feel like maybe... Um, some sort of holiday event or something like that. You may meet them outside in the sun or something like that. But uh, be careful. That's all I have to say. All right, Aquarius. Well, good luck to you. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as, I'll, as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.